Hey YouTube. So, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but there was a video floating around the internet for a little while about what guys look for in a girl. It was by these three, I don't know, teenage boys, and they basically kind of did this mishmash of uh, what they find attractive in a woman. The content within the video was not, not up to par as far as I'm concerned, especially for some for a group that has such a large fan base. And I felt that I wanted to really talk about not so much the content involved in the video, but more of the, the basic issue of, dis, of the distingu distinguishing, I'm really bad with words today, distinguishing between standards and preferences, which are two very different things. However, uh, they didn't really take that into account, and so on one side they were saying that, you know, you should really be yourself and you should um, be confident and funny, but at the same time they were also um, slut-shaming um, and telling girls uh, that they should be hairless and that no guy is going to find them attractive if they don't do X, Y, and Z. So let's actually start with the definition of the word. Standard. An idea or thing used as a measure, norm, or model in comparative evaluations. Preference. A greater liking for one alternative over another or others. Now, with standards, standards are something in which are a um, ground floor, foundation kind of thing. Where there are, there are standards of living, there are things that are required uh, or should be required, like you need a roof over your head, you need running water, you need heat in the winter, and you need light. These are standards. These are things that have to happen to survive. Preferences are um, the walls maybe be a specific type, or the architecture, or maybe the location, or maybe you want an elevator instead of stairs, or maybe you wanted to have cats or a dog. That one actually can be a little bit of a standard if you have pets, but I digress. And that's the basic thing that I wanted to talk about, is that in re relationships and friendships alike, a standard is something that you need to happen so that you can be around that person and not want to kill them. And a preference is usually more of an aesthetic and intellectually stimulating kind of thing, and is not technically required to be around a person, but is preferred. Ergo preference. So first, standards. Um, standards that I have, I'll just rattle a couple off. Um, honesty. Uh, don't lie. It's That's a, actually a pretty decent one. Um, that goes for pretty much everyone everywhere. If you want to be around me, I'm very blunt. I'm very honest. I will always tell the truth whether I like it or not, whether it's going to make you happy or not. But at the same time, I need the people that are in my life to be honest. If I can't trust you, that's not going to go anywhere, friendship or not. But those are standards for me. Everyone has different standards. Mainly, I just be a decent person um, and to not look down on people. Those are standards. Some of those can kind of straddle the line between preference and standards, and I'm aware of that. However, I'm trying to just get you to get to the differentiation. I'm really going to focus with preferences on more of an aesthetic and cultural kind of thing. So aesthetically, I tend to be attracted to guys who are of the um, the paler persuasion, uh, <laughs> um, and I tend to be attracted to the nerdier guys. Um, I would probably actually date Stephen Bramwell, even though he can be kind of neurotic sometimes. That's cool. Um, aesthetically, yeah, right up my alley. But that's a preference. It's not required. Um, preference for me. I'm five feet tall, so I would prefer not to date someone who's over six feet tall. Preference. Is it required? Does it make them less of a person if they're over six feet tall? No. Does it make them less attractive? That depends. But it's a preference. It's something I would prefer. And that's what I'm trying to stress here. Preference. Not a standard. Not required for functioning. Not required to be my friend. I have tons of friends who are way taller than six feet. Does it make me like them any less? No. 
And that is the big issue and the big thing that I, if you take anything else away from this, great. But the one thing I want you to take away from this is that standards versus preference. Standard is something that is required. It has to happen. It needs to be. It is the thing that you measure everything else around. All of my friends fit a certain standard, and that is being decent human beings, thoughtful human beings, and considerate, intelligent human beings. Preference means that I would probably rather date a pale, nerdy guy who uh, probably would rather sit in a cafe somewhere drinking tea or coffee and reading a book or having some existential conversation about Firefly versus Buffy the Vampire Slayer than I would um, wanting to date uh, a bro who all he wants to do is um, play, I don't know, basketball. Again, Neither one of those people is less attractive based on standards. They may be less attractive based on my aesthetic preferences, but that's the difference. A standard is not a preference, and a preference is not a standard. They're two very different things. They do work together, and they should work together because they need to come together to find your perfect person, but you can't state a preference as a standard. It's not required for you to be nerdy, but it is required, as far as I'm concerned, for you to not be a douchebag. So there you go, guys. So let me know what you think about standards versus um, preferences. What are your standards? What are your preferences? I'd like to talk about it. And if you would like to open up any type of dialogue or discourse with me, I happily, happily invite you to. And as always, have a wonderful day. I love you guys to pieces and 